Bound. <laughs> or what is today? November 7th, 2019. Good Thoughts. Session 2. James Brown will be late. We have Kyle and Yori. Um, yeah, we got a good view. <laughs> Deuces. So, when last we left our intrepid investigators, they had gone to this horrible barn at the edge of uh, a mile from town. We don't know it's um, horrible yet. They found, yes, you do. <laughs> you saw monsters inside. It scared me, but they could be good people. <laughs> they could be. All you know is that you had to break in. You destroyed the lock with lightning. Yes. You pulled the inner door off of its hinges, and then you started peeking in cells. You peeked in two cells, okay. one of which caused Marshall Pierce to go uh, temporarily insane. I like it. Love it. Uh, whereupon he gunned down the monster um, before realize, before he had a kind of an amnesia. Now, technically, Kyle, your character is still temporarily insane. That lasts, lasts hours. I can throw little illusions and make, say that you see certain things. If you want to disbelieve those things, essentially, mm-hmm. uh, you have to make a sanity check. Right. Um, and if you fail, if you lose in this time period, if you lose even one point of sanity, you immediately go to the bout of madness again. Uh, we reroll to see if you faint or freak out or start screaming or whatever. The only question I had was, um, mm-hmm. I've been temporarily insane actually quite a bit in this whole campaign. So, like... Right, I was doing the rules wrong. Do you, so. you kind of, do you kind of, like, play, like, like, if I see something, like, the first couple times I go insane, like, I start seeing, like, visions and stuff, I'm like, oh, crap, but, like, would you say that maybe my character's experienced insanity enough that I'm like... Yeah, this is just the after effects of going crazy. Right, you could do that. But to do that, you have to make a sanity check in order to make it go away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, At which point, if you fail, you lose one point of sanity, which immediately gives you another bout of madness. Um, Now, once you succeed in one of those, I can't hit you with these illusions and shit anymore. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So once you're like, that's not my dad, and then he disappears or whatever... At that point, because you make your sanity check, at that point, then you're not going to have any more of these little illusions. So as a keeper, I can't just like keep throwing these at you for the next however many hours you're temporarily insane. But if you see something and you don't want, and your character doesn't think it's real, let me know. We'll give you a sanity check, and if you succeed, then um, you can get rid of it, and if you fail, then you take a point of sanity loss, and you immediately flip out. So we're going to the thing you told me about last time, right? <laughs> So, pretty much. Uh, Oh, what was that? That's a dog Ted. Hey, chill, you two. Jingle jangles. All right. So, you return to town. He tried to jump. You return to town, three of you, uh, and returned to the tavern. As you were coming into town, you saw three riders come in. They dismounted. They left their horses in front of the tavern. They went inside. You all went inside. You saw Rex in there and three men sitting in the corner, one of whom you recognize, both of you, it looks like Warren Pierce. So both of you, you saw gun down. I don't remember. You can decide whether or not your character actually saw him die. Oh, you took a fatal wound. He was pretty badly hurt, and you think you saw him die 20 years ago uh, at Jakali's camp uh, when you were thrown back through time and you had different bodies and all that jazz. Um, he was with two men. Both of all of the three of them appear to be fairly heavily armed um, with pistols, and uh, he has a saber on his on his belt. That's just what the government wants you. He also has a badge. Uh, you recognize, especially you would recognize this as uh, Bureau of in, uh, Indian Affairs badge on his jacket. Uh, you three came in, you and, and uh, Jack West, all three of you came in and kind of stopped. And that's when you looked at the man and was like, and you thought, Dad? And that's where he left off last game session. Uh, Rex is still over. He's apparently cooking some food, uh, probably for the two, three gentlemen in the corner who are giving you all the, who are kind of eyeing you at this point. Hmm. So what do you see three men over there? <laughs> what? That, I'll be Jack West for now. That's your, that's your job. Is it? Yeah, that's your job. That's your job. That's what Jack West would say. I thought he died. He looks doesn't look a day over the, the age when you saw him 20 years ago, by the way, too. He looks Fuck exactly, God. He looks exactly the same. There he is. I look older than my dad. And you do. And then the door opens behind you guys. Thank God. <laughs> As you're just standing there. And there's Polly. Steps in. And she says, you. And she points at Jack West. 
Uh, he looks confused. And she kind of grabs him by the collar and she says, come with me. And kind of drags him out of the room. Uh, he protests somewhat, like, wait, where are we going? Wait, 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 wait. And then, and then they're gone. Uh, as you two stand, kind of, and uh, Rex says, can I get you gents some breakfast? Uh, I'm good, thank you. There's Rex. You should probably go with Jack West to see what that's No, about. don't go with Jack West. Oh, okay. This is a, I'll take off my GM hat. We're getting Jack West okay. on a picture for the time being. Nice. You can go see where he's going if you want. Um, I'm down, see where they Yeah, go. they're heading for the general store where you know, she has here. her her little office kind of we'll thing. We'll still play it. Are you are you not? Oh, okay. Um, you peeked out the door and you see in here. Psst. And uh, you spot Elijah Chubb oh, no. out there peeking around the corner of the building at you. That's the homeless man, right? Huh? Yes. The who? Yes. That's yes. crazy old man. Yeah. Yes. And he's gesturing towards you. Like, come over here. Yeah. You gesture back. He shakes his head. He looks around. He looks nervous. He says something somewhere around the corner. He's whispering. I'll give you an extreme listen if you want okay. to try to hear what he says. Um, wait, extreme listen? Yeah. Oh, no, that's not happening. What is your listen? I mean, it's like you're on a twenty-three. It's it's not an extreme though. Okay. It's a hard. Definitely. He, he hisses something to somebody around the corner. Yeah, it's a hard. Um, it's, um yeah, you can't. Quite do I do I hear any mumble back? Huh? How about that? Like I can't discern. Do, do I hear any response though? Uh, yes, somebody does mumble back to him, but you. I fuck no. <laughs> I'll pull my head back in the He's standing the the outside the doorway for quite a while before he pulls his head back in. I went to the general store. What, what do I say to my dad I haven't seen in 20 years? Who looks about my age? <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind, I could start the conversation. I have something to ask him. Could, could you? Yes. Okay. Sort of. Uh, the three men are talking quietly as you approach, and then they stop to look up as you approach that little table. And you can hear uh, Rex behind his little partition frying something up, frying some kind of food up. Why, hello, gentlemen. How are you this fine day? I want to stand behind him. Behind <laughs> the Lord, just a little behind him, like looking over his shoulder. I got all of them to see me. Uh, got his hat oh, Okay, down. okay, you got your hat pulled down. down. Yeah, okay, okay. Good morning. Uh, that's, uh, that's Warren Pierce. Or this guy is the one who speaks. The other two men just stare at you. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> you say that? No. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, I see what you're saying. The other two men are staring just a little, no, yeah, they're just watching you. Are you pulling out a cigarette? Yeah, yeah well, it, okay. this was going to be lit up before we walked over. Okay, okay, yeah, you had plenty of time. Go ahead, Yuri. What do you want to say? I have a hypothetical to propose to you, sir. I'm talking to Warren, who I think is Warren. Mm-hmm. Um, do you remember going to, uh, an Indian tribe a long time ago, and there was a crazy Indian saying he was a white man trapped in an Indian's body? So I've been to a lot of Indian reservations. Over yeah, but this guy really insisted he was a white man, and that he was from the future, and he was trying to warn you of something. I don't recall. Okay. Why? Oh, it's just a hypothetical. I like whispering, remember? That didn't happen, remember? <laughs> no, I, I like, I like leaning back to him. Was, that, that, I remember it. Gentlemen, we're in the area to uh, scout out if there are any Sioux here. We are going to be going to the border here in the next few days, too. Have you, gentlemen, you're from this town? You're still kind of like back behind him, like hat down. You haven't even shown your badge yet. We're... Due to the increased uh, deaths of the Indian, due to, due to the Indian wars that have been occurring in the last few months, I'm trying to protect the people of this village, so we'll be going around talking to everybody. Have you seen any Sioux in this area? And what's your name? Brandon. Mr. Brandon? How long have you lived here? I mean, have you been around for a while? Oh, we're just coming through, too. Oh, you are? Yeah. Why? Well, you know. <clears throat> if you want it. Well. No, I don't know. So there's nothing west of here well, but passing through besides the Sioux Reservation. 
We were just traveling. We uh, helped a priest get over here. He's uh, set up over there doing uh, daily uh, what would you call those? Services? Daily services. We we helped him in the town. He he was traveling alone. We felt like he might need some Did you see any Sue on your way here? Any Indians at all? No. Alright. Thank you, sir. Um, Kyle, uh, give me a spot hidden and give yourself a bonus die. Bonus die. Oh god. Okay, yeah. So you get a bonus die, so you reroll your tens. Uh, 33 out of 78. Yeah. Okay, um, you can't help but notice through one of the windows there's a face peeking up. Uh, black hat, glasses. You get, you recognize it as Reverend Ornery, and he's kind of peeking in into mm-hmm. the bar, into the tavern, and he see he, he he makes eye contact with you, and and he, he points and he, he kind of gestures like like this, and then he disappears again. Now you didn't see this because your yeah. back is to that window right now, or uh, you're you're facing you're facing these three gentlemen. Yeah, I couldn't, Two of them I couldn't resist eating the candy cigarette, but I'm I'm already smoking. Yeah, yeah, you can still be smoking. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna go outside for a smoke. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, okay. So you walk to the door, back to these people. They haven't still even gotten a good look at you. Um, anything else you want to say to this guy, Yori? No. Okay. It's what do you do? Like how do you uh, how do you how do you end this? I, this I go scene? over to Rex and uh, okay. I go like, hey, can I get an omelet? What? Uh, can I get my eggs sunny side up? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, so he's going to get you some breakfast. Uh, you go outside, and the pastor's out there. He's with Elijah Chubb. Oh, no. The two of them are together. Mm-hmm. And they kind of do like this. You know, they want they want you around the side of the building. Uh, kind of like a way. And they take you actually around back, where there's a little bit less of a, of a view. I mean, um, here's the tavern. So they take you around this area. So only somebody over here could see you, not the whole town. As soon as I see Elijah Chubb, I just want to be like, you go run again? I got information for you. That's what he said. I, I got some information for you. So now you want to talk. Well, this fella here, he's a pastor, and I've been pre- he's been preaching. And nobody, you, 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 no one has come to my services. Not this morning, not yesterday afternoon. And now this gentleman here says, there's some terrible, strange things going on in this town. I didn't tell you something yesterday because I didn't trust you. Uh-huh. But he says you're trustworthy. Well, he says well, I tried to tell you. So that Daisy Sparks, she lives in a house near the town. Mm-hmm. About a mile out. Mm-hmm. He kind of gestures at that, that, that way. What do you want me to do? Go over there? Arrest her? For what? For evil. For evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need the name of the crime... She's been spreading her evil ways with that nurse. Uh-huh. Yep, and they killed, uh, they helped with the Abitin kill him. Yep, that's right. They must have. Well, Nurse Polly saved two lives yesterday. Or It's all it's just a cover. Yeah. It's a cover. Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. Okay, yes. So. Yeah, that's when all the shooting happens last night. Yes. They've been killing people coming out of the town, haven't they? Hmm. He makes a weird noise with his mouth like that. Popping noise. Well, if I do go over and try to arrest uh, this Daisy Sparks, you know you're going to have to be a witness mm. to her crimes. He looks really scared of that. Stand before, uh, in front of a court of law and Ooh. say what she's done. And also maybe answer for what you've done. No, no I, I didn't do nothing. Mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't do nothing. Well, he has told me that she has some kind of control over these people. Haven't you, Elijah? Oh, okay. Elijah's mind is a bit frazzled, I'm afraid. Maybe you can piece it together for me then. I've been trying. It's not easy. He told me some of these villagers, there's a barn out west of town. And sometimes they take food out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that yesterday. (laughs) And I think Elijah Johnson's in on it. He's a cobbler. Hollis Edwards, the blacksmith. That's what Elijah here thinks. Zach Turner and Rodney Clark. 
They all seem to be part of it, according to, well, according to Elijah. And none of them have come to my services either. So that says, a mess of a mess. And that nurse. Well, forgive me if I'm not quick to judge. The nurse <laughs> did save a, a, a good friend of mine last night. I'm just trying to relate to you what I could understand from Elijah. Now, he, as I've said, he's a bit frazzled. Some terrible things have happened to him. But I have been right. to the barn that you speak of in the West, and we did see things there that we were not too keen on seeing. What did you see? Well, I would not speak of it here. Oh, oh. especially... Well, let's go to my tent. Well, you know, his tent is about, like, uh, an eighth or a tenth of a mile west of the village. You guys have passed right. it. He's got a big tent set up, and he's actually got... That medicine wagon is actually pulled up and is connected to the tent on one right. side. Um, but it is pretty far away from... Uh, so, uh, several hundred yards away from the village um, and back from the road a little bit, where there's, like, an area that's probably fallow. I'm not against giving you the information of what's in that barn, but I must say that I would like to go see it one more time before I start diving into it with someone else. All right, all right, that's fine. Well, I'm going to go back out there. Elijah seems to be very, very worried about his own safety. <laughs> yep. So well, I'll, I'll be going back out where? Out to the to my tent. Oh. And I have another service. He pulls a pocket watch out. It will be starting at noon. You are welcome to join us. Yes, sir. If you so desire. I do have some things to tend to. But I understand. The Lord comes first. I understand. All right. And they're, they're, they go on their way if you have nothing else to say to them. Oh, that, that's right. That's another thing to remind you. You went to the nurse's house. You followed her home. You know where it is. Uh, Kyle. You went to the nurse's house that one night, too. You yes. followed her home. So you know where her house is. Well. Yes. Um... Yori, he brings you out some eggs sunny side up. Is it not uh, the same house? Her, she's Sparks. south. Oh, she's south, south of town. Okay. Elijah claims that this Daisy Sparks lives north of town. South nurse, north Daisy, west, west is the barn. Right. But yeah. also west is the... The preacher's tent, but it's not very far west. It's just outside of town. Um, right. Fried up corn mash and some eggs over easy, a little bit of bacon... Uh, he's making this. He's made the same thing for these men in the corner, and he sets their food down. Right. You have a nice meal. You can smell fucking. Yeah, I'm gonna go to where he's at. Okay. And I'm just gonna. Steal my I'm gonna get like a, a little pour of the the moonshine in the corner. Okay. Moonshine. You're gonna kind of keep your back to these people in the corner for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, you can, I'm, you can make it so they don't even see your back. I'm gonna ask for two, just two quick ones. Yeah, you get two shots of the moonshine. I'm gonna just shoot. Shoot. <laughs> oh God. Take the hat off. And then just walk over there and just okay. be like, this ain't no easy way of doing this. Well, I'll say that to him first. This ain't no easy way of doing this. I'll take the hat off and then I'll just walk over there. I still got the hat in my hand, I guess. Okay. I'm up on Your food's not done. I haven't finished eating it. Okay, you stand yeah. up long time. Okay, you guys walk back over to where these men are digging in, eating their, their breakfast. You know who I am? I'm looking just straight at yeah. the guy that my dad. You look familiar. It's because I look like you. Are you a relative? I hope so, or this is going to be very awkward for both of us. <laughs> he says, well, I will admit, I took a blow to the head or something some years ago, and I've lost most of the memory from before that time. I should be your son. Clayton? I forgot what I said my mom's name was. <laughs> and I do too. Yeah. Uh, I might... We can wrestle it up if we have to. I might have it in this book. Most of the time I'll try to stay authentic to my past. I was also... I also... We probably should... Well, we don't have to retcon it. Maybe I was just saying that to the guy to say it to the guy, but... I forgot that, like, my guy's a little bit not about God. Because he thinks that, like, evil exists in this world... Because of the absence of God? How okay. could God let this happen? Yeah, yeah. How you, could God let this happen? You could also just be talking up to the preacher yeah, yeah, just to yeah, keep yeah, him happy, yeah. too. I mean, there's nothing that says you have to... I just couldn't remember if, like, I was, like... If I thought that I was, like, a man of God that's oh, purging this world. That is... That is... What is that? What are you looking for? That's lemon up. 
That's like a lemon Dude, line. Lemon up. <laughs> That's like a lemon line. Well, why couldn't they spell lemon correctly? I don't know. Yeah, we should start doing. We should start doing. Your mother's Ann Pierce. We should do ads for every time we mention something. <laughs> no. Like if you were no. just like, hey, I want some cookies, and we just do like a quick little thirty. I do not want. I do not want. <laughs> I'm not gonna f- give free advertisement to people. What, what if they funded our role play then? That would Somehow. be nice. I'm I suspicious of the fact that they don't spell it lemon up. What the how they spell it? L I M O N. Oh, it's lime enough then. Oh, okay. It's, I, I think it, if it's say it out loud. Lime enough. Yeah, yeah. Say it out loud. It makes, sense enough, it makes more sense. Uh, Ellen is your wife. Your dead son is Colton. Yeah, Colton. Warren was your dad. Ann was your mom. That's what I got listed here. Your horse is Aiden or Adon, A D O N, something like Adon. that, right? Uh, I've got Arian. Is that what it is? A R I. It's either. I think that's an O. Arian. Okay, Arian. I'll make that. I've made that correction. Yeah, because I almost called him Aaron on accident, and I was like, "Oh shit, Aaron's my horse." <laughs> he's at the game even when he's not at the game. Um. So what are we going with the my mom's name? Dan. Dan. Okay. Uh, he doesn't remember her either. When you bring when you bring her up. Um. And he apologizes to you. But again, he says he took a blow to the head. Or something happened to him. Uh, some time ago. Years ago. Decades ago. I, I believe you. It you are familiar. You look like the man I see in the mirror every morning. Yeah, it's not that far-fetched. The thing that is far-fetched is that we look about the same age. You should be in your 50s by now. I don't know. He says, according to my paperwork, yes, you're correct. Because my date of birth is on there. But I, there's a lot missing from my history. Do I, my badge doesn't say anything about my name or anything, does it? No, I would just say uh, Federal Marshal. Federal Marshal. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do I have any papers? His badge just Does anybody ask for papers on me? Um, you can. You can have some papers if you want some like that That'd proof. I'll just show I'll show him my papers. I would assume okay. I would have them on me. In case anybody ever asked me when I was uh, All right. He says, well, Clayton with Pierce this, on it. with this and... With this and uh, your face, obviously you're telling me the truth. But as I've said, I've forgotten all about it. That's fine. I thought you were dead. I never thought I'd see you again as it was. Well, as I told your uh, your friend here, <clears throat> I need to get a box for you, for your camera. Uh, here you go. Here's your camera. As I told your uh, your, company, your associate here, she's your real. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> As I told your associate here, uh, we're here scouting out the Sioux to make sure they're not causing any trouble in this area. Hey, you just went out. You're not going out again. So don't be doing any urinating. Well, we haven't encountered any Indians or anything like that. We're actually... I kind of look at Stoloid like I don't know if I should say what we're doing. And I'm just going to kind of read his face. So yeah, he gives you one of those mm, looks. Okay, Stoloid shrugs. We're out here still looking for John Valentine. It's been a year-long expedition. I've not heard of him in the area. We but I haven't been asking either. We got some intel that he could be coming up this way. We're trying to anticipate. But this area is so large. We think we're in the right place, but sometimes we're not sure. Uh, well, this is... This is Henry Wilson and David Smith. We'll keep an eye out for him for you if you want. You see, you're a federal marshal. Yes, sir. Well, well done. Thank you. I wish I could remember you. Can I get a note check on those two guys? A yeah. what? I don't know. What a note check? A knowledge check. check. A knowledge check? I don't know. What do you, what do you normally do They're for... pretty common names. Are they wearing the same badge? No, I meant like... No, they don't have badges on them. Like, I don't remember what check you normally do for like... Is it a spot hidden? For, for like what? Looking at someone and like possibly remembering seeing them from somewhere else. It's a no check. Oh yes, that would be a no check. All right, but your chances are slim because you probably have never met these. You people. can make so, the roll. So so like extreme. If you get an extreme, it's like just, maybe just make the roll. Tell me what you get. What you need. Ninety nine out of what? What is uh, your no? Bandits, bandits, bandits. Out of what? Hundred. It's a hundred. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, that's the suit I'll right give there. you. I'll give you a coin if you make <laughs> it a hundred. Right I'll give you a coin if you make it a hundred. Dude, yes. All right, yes. so that's a critical fail. So, um, oh my uh, god. Yor, you think that these two guys you've seen on wanted posters? Hey. Right. Your family's certain 
uh, that they are gunslingers and very fast. I don't know where the other one went. It wasn't there. Wait a minute. Lift your hand. Lift both hands up. On your right, right where, right there is. Um, yeah, you're pretty certain you've seen him on one of them. on the bag. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure. So anyway, he said that he will. He does say he will. I do would like to catch up. Find out what you've been up to. At some point, when yeah. you have some time, oh, I'm yeah. in the middle of. Uh, we have to. We have to interview everyone in town. My, today. my associate may say some crazy things, but for the most part, it does have some truth in it. What he was speaking to you before about um, being a white man in an Indian's body, as far-fetched as I know it sounds, we did experience something like that. This world is becoming more supernatural and something I'm not accustomed to, maybe not even prepared to be in, but... What he does say is true. We were there when you were at a... Probably at the incident of you hitting your head, honestly. When was this? When... Stoloid, when was it? Uh, like, uh, 25 years ago? 20 years ago. 20 it was 1855. And it's, 19, it's 1876. Now. I, I was there as well in an Indian's body. And... As much as I try to say that it didn't happen, it did. Just some of these things I just can't comprehend. All right. We'll have to talk about this. Um, I don't have time. We need to eat and interview everybody in this town first to make sure no Sioux have been seen in this area. Uh, I appreciate we your should. input, but we'll be here for a few days, I think. Okay. So I would like to discuss this. Uh, it does sound strange, but so have been some things that other things that I have had to deal with. So, yes. Now, he stands up, he shakes your hand. Uh, it's a polite shake of the hand, but uh, not any warmth in it. It's, he obviously doesn't remember you at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and the fact that even if he did remember you, last time he saw you was. 20 years ago as a child as well. Right, right. So it's not like last week or anything like that. I just feel like I don't even know how I want to act either. It's like it, yeah, okay. Then, perfect. Then if you feel like freaked out, that is exactly how your character probably is. And now I just have this friend relationship with my dad. <laughs> Who doesn't remember me? Yep. And we're the same age. Look like best friend dad. Battle ganger. Okay, what do you two want to do? You, your food is still phone sitting phone over there. Phone. Okay, right. he's gonna go finish his breakfast. These these three are finishing up their meal fairly quickly. They're obviously gonna be very busy today. Can I roll to notice that he had like a very change in emotion? Like he's usually Who, very Stalloyd? Yeah, he's very upbeat and well it was something twenty years car. ago. You could uh, yeah, you could uh, make me a psychology check. That's a good idea. No. Okay. Um you pick up whatever you pick up. You might have noticed that all of a sudden he's being very quiet and not as as friendly. I'm not even sure I've ever seen him stutter and be like um, Yeah, you can do that. It's it's however you want your character to act. Um you're a little flipped out right now too. So um it's up to you whether or not you really pick up on it or not. And that's totally a player decision, Kyle. You know, when a man meets his father he thought died twenty years ago. Usually he's the one that stutters and acts up. What's going on with you? Are we back at the bar? Away from you guys have gone back to the bar because you were going to finish your meal. Right. They're obviously finishing eating rather quickly. They're just scooping their food up. I have seen a ghost, and you looked like you had seen a ghost. You guys think your dad's traveling with a Pete Sutter type. Two Pete Sutter types. You think that my father came all the way out to... What state are we fucking in right now? You guys are in Dakota. Dakota Territory. I think my father came all the way up to the Dakota Territory well, with they, two Pete Sutters. They might be more legitimate than Pete Sutter. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Posters. You saw those men on the wanted posters? Mm-hmm. Um, you Do you actually have a gun out right now? No, I don't have a gun. He has not have a gun. Oh, okay. You, 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 made, you were like, hey, it's Pete Sutter. <laughs> Pete Sutter attacks. We can take a look at him again. Give me an overall if you want. Yeah, I mean, like, I highly doubt that you recognize men as I do. Uh, maybe you did. Not <laughs> roll. Ninety-three. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you want to accept the coin? Made that a critical. <laughs> no, I have to get a hundred. I bet your no is over fifty, right? Let me turn on intelligence. Oh shit. Uh, eighty-five. Oh man, I wasn't that far off as much as I thought. Jesus Christ. So, 
if a score is 50 or above, you have to roll zero, 0 for a critical effect. Yes. yes. If it's less than 50, it's 96 to zero, 0. So, um, no, you rolled 93. Yeah, two points. No, he has to get zero, 0. 100 minus 93 is 7. <laughs> anyway, um, you don't recognize those faces. You have studied wanted posters. Oh, yeah, but I'm going to go this route. Well, I have been so fixated on Jack Parker and John Valentine that I haven't been keeping up with the new bounties. When do you think you saw these men on the road? Yeah. Oh, you know, on the road. On the road. Yeah, maybe one of those was Cesar. No, it was, definitely wasn't in Mexico. You never were in a town in Mexico. Who's Cesar? Cesar was always talking about bounty stuff. Who was? And money. Who's Cesar? <laughs> He's my, my good friend. Would never hurt me. What? <laughs> Look. I don't know if they're legitimate or not. Maybe they actually are FBI agents okay. or Bureau of Indian Affairs. Oh. And that they were originally outlaws who have been hired Listen. to pay off like their debt to society. I know this is going to confuse you. <laughs> but the wanted posters, they can look like multiple men. <laughs> That's why people get in trouble when they shoot a man <laughs> and he's not the one in person that they thought he was. That's a good explanation, actually. Well, they are just wrong. That's why I don't collect bounties. And for good reason. Also, for good reason, you're not trigger happy. You would have shot those men in front of my father that I just met. I would never shoot a man in a bar. Good to know. Unless, I mean, they were skeletons or something. Um, ghouls. What? Ah, uh, <laughs> remember the skeletons? They came in the bar. Well, yeah, but that's like a one-time thing. That's not going to happen again. Oh, you tell that to the skeletons. 